and we are changing gears from Cote d'Ivoire, what's happening there, to what's happening on the ground here when it comes to the transport sector. That is quite a bold statement to be making when you talk about 2030. Something needs to drastically happen if this industry is going to stay competitive. What is that thing that needs to happen? Thanks, Anna. Well, you know, from uh, PwC's point of view, we, we've looked at transport and logistics as a specific industry and have produced a number of thought leadership publications. The one we're talking about this evening is really winning the talent race and looking at recruitment and pay practices within the industry widely and globally. So we'd engaged together with the European Business School, um, uh, we've done a survey of 94 worldwide uh, participants and specialists within the industry comprising private sector, the business uh, community and uh, politicians and academics and placed a number of hypotheses or, or questions to them and asked them you know, to predict the likely outcome. And I suppose some of the findings that came out is that the transport and logistics industry is probably suffering from a poor brand, uh, uh, from a poor image. Uh, but that poor image is deserved though. Well, is well, some I'm, things that they need to work on. Well, clearly there, there, there's a great deal that needs to be done. I think maybe just from a specific point of view in South Africa, we have a number of significant challenges. You know, we have an aging workforce that's, uh, uh, that's highly skilled, and then we're unable to attract young and new talent into the uh, sector. Uh, I think pay uh, prospects are the, are the least attractive in transport and logistics when compared to other industries. I mean, you were talking about, I mean, I, I think on, on, on one of the, the comparisons, it was about 42% less than, 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 than some the of the best industry. paying industry. Mm -hmm. or, you know, I mean, it would probably be the best paying industry might be the financial services or the IT industry. Yeah, so it, it has some way to go and be useful for the industry itself to try and benchmark uh, to its peers in the other industry groups to find out what might be necessary or what should be done. Uh, you know, quite often it's not only the pay prospects, but it's also a whole lot of other matters that go into it. It's the quality of uh, work, it's health insurance, uh, it's medical benefits, uh, and general insurance and use of other fringe benefits, car allowances, etc. So those are also compelling reasons why people would want to work in a particular sector. And I mean, the, the, the issue of pay, one of the, the issues there, as you've said, is benefit packages, because that cannot be underestimated if, you know, what, what's happening in the transport sector when the transport sector is offering compared to the other industries, not attractive enough. No, it's not. It's not. It, it clearly, the findings clearly conclude that there's a long way to go. I suppose it's also a very diverse uh, uh, industry. You know, you've got airlines and you get uh, uh, trucking. So, you know, you'd, you'd have pilots and seafarers would probably be better paid than train drivers and truck drivers and all those who work in logistics warehouses. So it's a very varied industry, but regardless of that, the industry as a whole has got some way to go in order to bridge the income gap in a sense. But, but let's talk a little bit about uh, what some experts are saying, because some experts, it seems as though they say, no, it's not that bad, because if you look at globalization, everything that's happening when it comes to exports, also you've got people that are studying logistics right now in universities, so we're not as in bad a shape as you're saying, and you would respond what to that? Well, I would say there's huge opportunity to, to, to engage in this sector. There, you know, there, there's massive uh, opportunity, speci specifically in the emerging markets, specifically in South Africa with a massive infrastructure spend, the kind of skills that must be brought to bear, the opportunities, you know, and I think just the, 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 the opportunities for, for supply chain management people, uh, warehouse distribution managers, uh, air traffic controllers, uh, you know, uh, engineers, there's massive prospects, uh, so you know there's a lot that can be done to correct the brand image of the industry. But when you talk about engineers, would you be saying that engineers, for instance, in this industry would not be paid as well as engineers in, in other sectors? I'm asking this because engineers are, are generally known to be quite a well-paid profession. Well, I think engineers in South Africa are a, a scarce resource. But I, I would say that uh, it, it has been a difficult industry. The, you know, the predictable spend uh, in infrastructure and, uh, and, and contracts and whatever, and, uh, and just the, the, the industry, the construction industry as a whole, uh, it, it's a challenge to engage in that industry. So I suppose you know, the, the, the prospects for engineers hasn't been that, uh, that good in the past decade or so. So what is business now saying? You say to them, you need to change drastically. Otherwise, you're probably not going to survive. What is their response? 
Well, business response is yes. They, they take these, uh, uh, these studies seriously and they will in fact be proactive in addressing some of the shortcomings within their own businesses and within the industry as a whole. Well, I, I, one of the things that you had said is that you, you, you're also talking to policymakers. So what can they do? Well, policymakers could just ease some of the regulatory burdens uh, and you know, perhaps uh, provide some of, the, uh, some of the training and some of the uh, causes at tertiary institutions to sort of focus on getting transport and logistics uh, uh, as a key area that could perhaps be uh, uh, something that students would aspire to. What's complete. happening in training right now that it's not that that's well, not so brilliant? Well, there, there's a dearth of training. There, there just isn't enough training material in the industry, and there just isn't a special focus group concentrated on transport and logistics generally. Thank you so much for joining us.